last week I got a uh, chance to take a trip up to Wisconsin, pick up a brand new truck. So I was gonna kind of give you a video tour of my new truck, but last week was really hectic, so it's taking me this long to get on. I haven't time to do it. But uh, the basics are: it's a 2018 Freightliner Cascadia. Uh, I've been pretty much redesigned this year on the interior, at least, and uh, pretty nice truck. So uh, here it is. Here's the outside, uh, not quite as clean and shiny as it was when I got it. It's got about 5,000 miles on her now. But, uh, I've had mixed feelings about the grill design. Kind of looks like a fish to me. <laughs> um, you design mirrors and door contouring. Got a uh, shore power plug here air conditioner and stuff I'm going to be setting long term which I hardly ever do and then and plug under here for your block heater in case you're in a really cold area which once again I very rarely am uh, your def tank is located here I'll come back to here these used to be a rubber and so this rigid plastic so I don't know how that's going to hold up see what happens. Fuel tanks are both filled from back here. A little bit difficult to get in. So this enclosed space here to get the nozzle in on this side, but minor inconvenience. Uh, glad hand storage. Load lock storage trays, which are nice to have again. And then, uh, we got these hubcaps here, which they say give you better fuel mileage. I'm not real sure they've used them prior. Different design. Determined they had some problems causing overheating of the wheel bearings. But these are nicer designed because all you gotta do is get them off instead of a bunch of tools. Just push, turn, and I'm just right off. Pretty convenient. Put it back on, turn it locked in place. At least it's convenient to check your air instead of having to have a hose to come out that hubcap which was also a point of failure on the previous ones. The, uh, also use these mesh mud flaps which are supposed to help fuel mileage which I don't really know how well that works. One thing Freightliner does that I do not like as opposed to my Kenworth is no external release handle on your storage box. You have to open your door, come up here to unlock it. I like having a door handle, just convenient. Uh, little storage box here, I got all my goodies. The other thing Freightliner does that I don't like is there's not one on the passenger side. No door to it. Continuing on around the passenger side. I've seen some trucking companies that use this truck. They do a blacked out grill, which in my opinion looks better. And uh, these kind of funky shaped new headlights they use. Then come around to this side of the truck. This is my battery powered AP. Basically it's there's four truck batteries in there, small AC compressor, and uh, that's what we use to cool while we're parked. It uh, does all right. It's not like super efficient. And uh, see, this here is the exhaust pipe for my fuel heater. So I'm sitting in part the little heater that runs and keeps the truck warm. That's where it runs as it's exhaust out. So here's the view from the driver's seat. The uh, one major complaint I have about this truck is as wide as this door pillar is here with this mirror. It has horrible blind spots on the uh, left and right right here. So you got to be really careful coming up on intersections and turns. Uh, they redesigned the way the mirrors are attached to give a little more streamlined look, I guess. Looks a little cooler. There we got my cell phone mount to keep me 
DOT compliant. Right here you got your gauges, tack, oil pressure, fuel and depth levels, speedometer, air pressure, water temp, the basics. That screen there in the middle, basically uh, computer information, some more digital gauges, miles per gallon, all that kind of stuff. Also some controls for your phone for uh, hands-free, which is pretty nice. Come out here to the steering wheel. We got a smart wheel here. These just for navigating around the menus and that. Uh, radio volume up and down. Get back out to the previous menu. Over here, and your phone hang up, which is really nice. Flash your headlights, so uh, when somebody's passionate, they can come back over. Flash your marker lights to say thank you when somebody lets you over. Your cruise control set and resume, which is pretty nice. Doesn't really have an on and off for the cruise control, you just set it and go. Um, got my tablet here, which is how my company communicates with us, and my e logs, radio. Got a weight. This one here shows the air pressure on your drive axis, how much weight's on your fifth wheel, basically. Uh, oil temperature, and uh, basically how hard you're stepping on the brake pedal. AC controls, which is pretty basic. Alright, this lever, like pushing a brake pedal, but just on your trailer. Uh, sleeper dome, ambient light, which I'll show you when I get in the back, it's pretty cool. This one you're doing your pre-trip, it basically cycles all the exterior lights on your truck so you can see they're working. Dome light, four-way flashers, footwell light, lights up down here, which is cool. Uh, Traction control, snow or ice, you know, kind of helps you with that. Uh, this thing, it's called lane departure warning. This kind of mutes it, but what it does, see this box right here, it's got a camera. You can basically see the lines on the road, and if you drift too close to one, it sets off a uh, kind of a warning on whichever side of the truck you happen to be on. Teach us in the middle of the lane real quick, because it's really annoying. Basically, hit this switch and it mutes it for a few minutes in case you're in construction or something with random lines. Uh, this is if it's going into safety shutdown in the engine, you hit this to override it, get off the road. Uh, with this being an automatic, it has something called hill start assist, which if you're trying to get started going uphill, kind of like slip in the clutch, uh, this overrides that. I'm not sure why you would use it. Uh, this is your lights on the back of the truck to help you see when you're hooking up to a trailer. These are just there, they don't do any damn thing. A little storage compartments, some power outlets. Hang the hang my hands free up there because you can't use a phone while you're driving. Uh, your inner axle lock, basically like locking in four wheel drive, makes both your drive axles spin or pull, so if you're like in mud or whatever. This is pretty cool. It, this releases the kingpin, so instead of having to get out and reach under the trailer and pull the handle, you just hold this button down for three seconds and it releases. But for safety, it only does that when the parking brakes are set so you can't dump a trailer going down the road. Um, this unlocks your fifth wheel to slide it forward and back for weight distribution. Uh, we'll try and make a video later on today showing how to do that. And then this one is your ride height adjustment basically just dumps the airbags lower to back of your truck for getting under trailers and whatnot. Come down here, you got the storage thing, cup holders. That's supposed to be an ashtray, but I don't smoke, so I use a full change jar. Alright, one feature I like better about the Freightliner than the Kenworth. Kenworth had kind of like a standard car shifter with the automatic. You had like a lever down here, you pull the reverse neutral drive, all of that kind of in the way. Freeliner uses this stock control here. It's fairly simple. Drive, neutral, reverse. It also does over here, you've got automatic, push and hold, you get manual, and then what that does, it stays when a gear it's in. You pull up to upshift, push down to downshift, good for mountain driving. Also includes your jake brake controls, which just have low, medium, and high. So it kind of puts it all the controls right here on the steering wheel, which is convenient. Come over to the passenger side, you got the Cascadia logo, sharp. That is basically what attaches that tablet I showed you into our truck, so you can't, you know, cheat and drive without being on duty. That tells how fast the truck is going and if it's moving and all that stuff. 
Got a small storage compartment over here because there's no glove box. This is basically just a whole fuse panel. Pull this whole panel off here to get to your fuses and such. Uh, seats, nice black and gray color. Fancy Cascadia logo. Super comfortable seats, honestly. Nice and wide because I'm kind of a bigger guy, so I fit in it, so it's pretty good. Got the side bolsters there, which are convenient. Nice and comfortable. Got a front privacy curtain when you're trying to sleep. You can just close off your windshield and side windows. You've got plenty of room inside. Then you got this, which separates the uh, sleeper from the cab in case uh, you know, somebody's trying to sleep while you're driving, like a team driving situation. You can't really see it. These are nice, thick, insulated material, which helps cut down on the heat in the truck when you're sleeping during the day or in the summertime. Up top here, we got some storage compartments, which are nice. Got all my cleaning supplies. A little bit of upper storage here. Got my Atlas, because I don't trust the GPS. Some other random just junk up there. Another storage compartment, my little first aid type stuff. All right, we come into the sleeper. Look back here, up top. That is my APU air conditioner, basically it runs off the battery, so I idle my truck in a polluted environment while I try and stay cool. Got a, another compartment here. This is all my cooking and stuff, basically do my dishes and whatnot. Foreman grill, little toaster, and stuff like that. And here, you know, a microwave cabinet, which is a nice touch. And on to the floor, I've got my little electric cooler. I've got a tie down place for it. Probably going to switch over to a refrigerator, which is what this plate is actually built for. And it has two like ratchet straps to tie the refrigerator down, which are pretty nice. Got a TV mount secured to the wall. And, uh, you can pull this little strap and you can swing the TV out, kind of get it where you need it. What you want to do with it. See it from the front, the back, whatever. Pretty cool. Uh, upper window, it's not really a broken, just lets it heat. Got your upper bunk here, which has a nice feature. If uh, most trucks used to have to climb up to cabinets or just jump up into the upper bunk, this one actually has a fold down ladder. Reach up here and adjust it. You actually have a ladder to get up on the upper bunk, which is very convenient. Around here, you have this net. This is a uh, safety restraint, basically like a seat belt for when you're sleeping in case the truck's moving. Got to be restrained anytime the truck is in motion. Uh, this is a vent outside, a little fan. Uh, got this reading light on a gooseneck here, which is pretty cool. This is the thermostat that controls my air conditioner I just showed you. On and off switch for my inverter that runs my microwave and stuff like that. That's controls for the fuel fire heater, so you can stay warm in the winter without the truck running. Your AC controls for when the truck is running. Uh, power port for charging your phone or whatnot. A little cubby to put stuff while you're sleeping. That switch mutes the speakers back here so you can listen to the radio while you're trying to sleep. Alright, we got a dome light switch, sleeper dome, footwell light, and ambient light. This is what they call the ambient light on the roof. Pretty cool. Uh, and, uh, the dome lights are basically the little brighter dots of light in there. You get a lot of light inside this thing when they're all on. Another upper cabinet over here. Basically where I store all my clothes and whatnot. Just another cabinet. I've got a couple backpacks in here. I haven't really figured out what to do with it yet. Uh, log book because DOT requires you have a paper log in case your digital one messes up. Uh, pull out work surface here uh, just to eat off of or whatever, you know, something to, while you're sitting here. I carry a work table here, a little bit bigger than my own. Down here, you've got the inverter, which gives you regular AC household power off of your batteries for running microwave TV, that sort of thing. Another cabinet here. Uh, you see my unhealthy diet I've got stored in here. Uh, don't hold it against me. And 
and uh, there's a low and then under the bunk here, I don't know how well you'll be able to see it. Get this little release here. You open the bunk. And you've got some storage for stuff out there. That's the winter screen. Put that over the grill in the uh, when it's really cold, basically a tarp controls the airflow to help keep the engine warm. That's the basically the guts of my and the control box for my APU, my little battery-powered air conditioner. This little thing here is the actual fuel fire heater to keep you warm when the truck's off. So. Well, that's my truck. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, any questions or comments, please leave them below and uh, give the video a like if you enjoyed it. I hope you all have a great day.